everybody is Karen Mills and I am on my soapbox because that makes it easier for me to climb onto my high horse and ride around my ivory tower. Today I'm on my high horse about ketchup. Every time I go to a drive-thru and order french fries, tater tots, whatever delicious fried potato I'm using to numb my emotions, the person working the drive-thru will inevitably give me a disproportionate amount of ketchup. Why? Why? Why is this so difficult? When I ask for ketchup, I want enough for all of my potatoes. Why would you give one ketchup packet for an entire order of fries? Well, you think I only want enough for four of my fries? So when I realized that ketchup cannot be left to chance, I asked for several ketchup. I got two. Two. Two is a couple. So yesterday I was having a tater tot kind of day and I thought I'm just going to take the guesswork completely out of this. So I asked the drive to attendant for a bunch of ketchup. She handed me a wad. A wad of ketchup packets that had apparently been soaking in pancake syrup. Sticky ketchup is why I don't carry a gun. I just don't understand why it's so difficult to give an appropriate amount of ketchup. It's not like the pairing of the potato to the ketchup is a new concept. It's been going on since the beginning of time. In fact, I think I remember reading that at the Last Supper, Jesus said to Matthew, pass the ketchup. Oh, now listen to me go on. I need to get down off my horse. Have a nice day. Ha, 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 ha.